So in true GTA style, I'm going to show you how I created these lifelike 3D animated portraits in After Effects. Let's dive into it. So first off, I'm in Adobe Firefly, and I'm gonna type in my prompt to create my first character. Grand Theft Auto-like 3D portrait of a mechanic in front of an urban shop. And this gives me a few great results. I'll go with this one. Now I have to actually separate my subject from the background. So I'm gonna do this using Photoshop to isolate my subject layer. And I'll use Generative Fill to fill in the background layer so it's a clean background. Now, since the online 3D generator that I'll be using doesn't seem to do well with transparency, I'm going to create a green screen background with my subject to key out later. So exporting both of these layers as separate images, I'm going to go to my online 3D generator called Zoe Depth. The link is in the description below. And once I'm there, I'm going to navigate to Image to 3D. And first I'll drag my background layer and I'll select keep occlusion edges and I'll hit submit and you'll see it creates a 3D environment from this image. So I'll download that and I'll do the same with my subject layer, except I won't keep occlusion edges. Very nice. I'll download this and you'll notice that the files are GLB files, which are now compatible with the most recent version of After Effects 24.1. As I import my background and drag it into a new comp, a prompt box will pop up asking about the model settings. And in advanced settings, I'm gonna select flip Z axis. For now, I'll scale it up in here. And you'll see it's starting to look like something. Now I'll do the same thing with my subject on green screen layer. I'm gonna flip this horizontal and I'll drag this into a new comp. Now, I need to use my key light effect to key out the green. One click and it should be good to go. Now I'll drag my background in, make sure they're both named, and I'll create a new camera. I'll make this 35 millimeters. Okay, once I have my camera set, I'm gonna create a keyframe on my point of interest and position on my first frame of my sequence. I'll go to my end frame, and I'll go to my orbit around cursor tool and I'll adjust my camera position to make that arc movement. Let me just adjust my point of interest here a little bit. And you got to find a delicate balance to not go too far because then the 3D image starts to look a little funky. So as you can see, it creates a really nice parallax effect given the 3D elements. And here's another one I worked up. You could also do a nice dolly zoom. And there you have it. 